Like and subscribe in the next 5 seconds, or this will be in your bed tonight. What is one thing you have never tried and have no desire to ever try? Potholing. Exploring them underground caves with the tiny gaps you have to squeeze through. Literally had a panic attack watching the movie The Descent because of tight cave spaces at the beginning. I would get stuck and never be heard from again. Just like that one guy who got stuck upside down in one of those tight spaces and was unable to be rescued. Cave diving. Get turned around and your fate is frantically looking to retrace your path as your oxygen runs out and you eventually drown. There's enough things that can go wrong with diving. I don't understand wanting to take away the ability to go to the surface quickly if necessary. I like the one story guy told where they accidentally kicked up dirt from the bottom of the tunnel, and then couldn't see shit at all. I got lost my first time in a shipwreck because of that. I shouldn't have been last in line because my buddy was reeling back in the line we were following. But the dive master messed up and put us in the wrong order. I couldn't see anything but the fins in front of me. Suddenly the fins disappeared and I swam into a wall. I swam all around the room I was in and pointed my flashlight into every room I saw. I knew if my buddy went through a room there would be silt floating. So I didn't go into any of the rooms since they were all clear except the hallway we came from. I had no idea where my group went and all I could see was my flashlight shining off the silt in front of me. I decided to turn my flashlight off to see if I could see someone else's light light to a way out and realized there was a stairway that went into the middle of the room and led to a door out of the ship. My group had gone out of that door. Swimming under the ice of a lake. Not even for the sword of Gryffindor. Why he went and with the horcrux on is beyond me. Scat play. Just. No. Ski be da be da da dub dub. Take my upvote d do e do doot roti toot toot. Rit da dip da do. Bungee jumping. I know it is safe. I know nothing will happen. I won't try as I'm just too scared nevertheless. A broken rubber brought me into this world. I'm not letting another one take me out of it. Did it. Would never do it again. You do right to avoid it. Eating live animals. Not a vegan but people eating live frogs. Octopuses and other small creatures are straight ducked. What? You don't like the thought of slimy tentacles covered in stomach acid wriggling around in your belly trying to make their way back up your esophagus? Thank you very much for that image. Scuba diving in caves. The thought of not being able to surface is terrifying. I love swimming. Grew up next to the beach and have died a lot but being unable to head vertically up for air makes it a definite no-go for me. Scuba diving anywhere for me. I know the odds of something happening to me are slim to none but once I'm in the water all I can think about are sharks. No. Can't even go into the ocean ankle deep because of the fear. Crack. Heroin. Having sex with a prostitute. Edit. Thanks everyone that pointed out that it's heroin and not heroin lol. I'm deathly afraid of needles, still will get vaccinated, so I agree on heroin 100%. Never saw the appeal to prostitutes, never want to try crack. The appeal of prostitutes, at least for me, is that I am far more likely to have an extra couple hundred bucks than I am to find a woman who would like to have sex with me. Skydiving. Fat man plummeting towards the earth just doesn't sound appealing. Edit. Thank you for appreciating the joke about my weight enough to ahem, nuke my inbox. Accidental atomic bomb joke. First thought I had. Deep sea diving. I don't like water where I can't see my feet. Because of this my brain irrationally believes there is a jaws all around me at all times if in deep water. Thus it makes me basically go 0-100 panic attack. I have zero interest in this. And so I never will. I'm a dive master. I did my course in Madagascar. One of the last deep dives was a deep blue dive at 120 feet. 40m. You couldn't see the surface. Or the bottom. And everything around you is just. Deep blue. I actually really enjoyed it. But most of the time deep dives don't spend much time in those sorts of situations. Usually you're diving to get to something. Like a wreck. I've never had a scary experience underwater. But for some reason I'd rather night dive the ocean than dive a murky freshwater lake. I dove the blue hole in Belize. 132 feet down. My rented regulator became quite hard to pull a breath in. Maybe not the regulator. But just the pressure. So that had me fighting a bit of panic. 
Then looking up you could see a circle of light far above and. Circling sharks. Not deadly sharks. But sharks nonetheless. Our Dover master said that if you drop anything like a camera, light, watch, mask, flipper, etc. Let it go. If you chase it, you'll kill yourself. Scared the poo out of me. And yet, it was also amazing. Auto erotic asphyxiation. That shit kills a lot of people every year. When I worked at a prison the first death after I started was from this. Fugu. Japanese puffer fish. Expensive delicacy. The tetrodotoxin the fish produces and stores in a bladder has to be carefully excised by the fugu chef or else it will invisibly poison the diner. Hard pass. I don't care how long the chef has to study under a master fugu chef before being allowed to serve customers. I don't care if the flavor of fugu induces instant orgasm. I'm not rolling those dice. Every description of the flavor I've seen calls it mild or delicate which are polite ways of saying bland. I'm not down to risk my life for a culinary experience that's basically on par with a filio fish. Wednesday is fugu fish sticks. Swinging cuckolding. Watching my wife getting nailed by another guy is the stuff of nightmares. Same dude. It's unnervingly popular amongst my friend group. But, I could never. I don't care how hot the girl I would get to fool around with. Nobody is touching my wife. Plus, I don't want anyone but her anyway. Just seems like a bad idea. I mean, I've seen it work for some people and I don't judge them at all. I'm perfectly content in my monogamous relationship though. I'm 100% with you on this. I'm just not wired for that kind of relationship. But more power to you if you are. Sounding. Jesus duck I wins every time I read that word. Surprisingly low on the list. Everything else above it I would try before sounding. Zero desire. A pea shit fetish where the girl shits peas in your mouth. What the duck? I don't get this fetish at all. Like why? It stinks it probably tastes awful. I literally don't get it. I was into pea porn some 8 years ago. Now I think it's straight up disgusting. Childhood me was a freaky character. Piercings for my dong. Hell no keep that sharp shit away from me. How about soft piercings? Hard drugs. Life of crime and prison. Smoking. I envy people who never tried smoking. I gave up more than 10 years ago and still have cravings. Good on you for quitting. Great job. Second marriage. Once was more than enough for me. Just out of curiosity how long ago was the divorce? I got divorced about 2 years ago and I'm still in your mindset. Just wondering if it fades with time. Took me 6 years or so. I dated my now second husband for a couple of years before I was like, okay, fine, I could get married again. Drugs in general. I hate feeling like I'm not in control of my faculties. Even laughing gas at the dentist is too much for me. So I'll just continue to stay away. Small doses of caffeine are pretty much my only drug. I do a lot of drugs. Benzos. Uppers. Hallucinogenics. Etc. But holy duck the laughing gas at the dentist was one of the worst highs of my life. I have never felt so anxious. Scared. Out of control. Etc. In all my life. I 100% wish I hadn't been given it. Interesting. I bet I would hate most drugs. But that's surprising to hear that. Thanks for sharing. I also get super nauseous with the very few opiates I have taken resulting from injury surgeries. I forgot I had taken those. I had a prescription for Vicodin in 8th grade after getting my appendix removed. I was so sick from it that I puked. Wouldn't recommend puking after abdominal surgery. And that was just one dose. So even after having knee surgeries as an adult, I basically asked the doctor to prescribe me super strong ibuprofen because I wouldn't use any pain meds. Shoving a pineapple up my ass. Yep, hanging out with Hitler dressed as a French maid to go along with it is not at the top of my list either. Sex. He is the chosen one. Where is my virginity? Is it safe? Is it alright? Cocaine. I had opportunities in college. Too. But yeah, I watched the people that were on cook and didn't want to do that. It's the most overrated drug on the planet. It's expensive. It doesn't last long. You always want more when it's gone. And you feel like garbage the next day. I do like the numbing effect though. For a similar experience. 
Drink a small pot of Deathwish coffee and power chew a few throat lozenges. That should save you about $70. P. Yep, a friend of mine that did coke would tell me it didn't even last half an hour. I was like, why would you spend that much money on something that didn't even last 30 minutes? Skydiving. Why, if anything goes wrong, you have the rest of your life to fix it. I get that it's a joke, but this actually applies for anything in life. A true yes man motto. Incest. What are you doing? Step Cobra? Going on a cruise ship, even before COVID, I couldn't believe people would confine themselves for days on end to a floating cesspool of germs. I'm no germaphobe either. I used to fly all the time. I went on a cruise a while ago and it was pretty fun. I liked not having to plan out my whole day and the food was pretty good and I slept better than I ever have in my entire life on that boat but if it weren't for my parents paying for my ticket I wouldn't go again. You have to pay out the ass for alcohol especially and you feel nickel and dimed for almost everything from certain menu items to the sauna spa to the fact that certain decks are specific to VIP ticket holders. Also turn the slight guilt you feel going out to restaurants that makes you over tip service industry workers and turn that up to a million. Also most of the events are really unappealing if you aren't over the age of 30. We smuggled booze onto the ship in fake shampoo bottles. Getting drunk. I'm afraid of losing control over myself. I'm also afraid of vomiting. Smoking. I don't want to get addicted to it. And there's no reason to try it just once. Because the first cigarette tastes terrible, or so I've heard. The first few times you get a buzz. Then before you realize it I've been smoking for 16 years. Wise to avoid. I'm not a rebellious type. Since I was a kid, I was always told that smoking is bad for you. And I shouldn't do it. So I didn't. Ballot. Meth. And spelunking. What's ballot? Precious? Ballot is a steamed fertilized duck egg that is considered a delicacy in parts of Asia. There's a whole ass baby duck in it. Feathers and all. Edit. My phone is not used to typing duck. Duck it. I'm leaving it. Edit 2. I'm glad you all got a kick out of my autocorrect. First time I've gotten more upvotes than on the original comment. I is wild. Anal. I'm a guy but I just don't like the idea of it. I'm a girl and I don't like the idea of it either. Now kith. Going to a strip club. Just not my style. I was in Vegas on summer of 2017 with a bunch of friends and we still didn't go to one. Long time ago, a friend and I were drinking through the night, and he really wanted to go. I'm just not into it. He's having a grand old time while I found a comfortable booth to relax nap in. Two strippers nudge my foot to wake me up and ask if I wanted a lap dance. No, I want a nap. Leave me alone. What about a nap dance? Getting shot in the head. I'll try it once. Eating ass. I don't wipe a tongue's length deep in my airhole and I'm guessing y'all don't either. I don't see why it's all the craze. While I'm sure it would feel great to have my wrinkle grommet's tongue punched, I just feel like there's way too much maintenance upkeep required to keep that balloon not free and clear of morsels. Wrinkle grommets. Duck this cracked me up. Coprophilia. Don't google it if you don't know what it is. You'll regret it. If it's good enough for Mozart, it's good enough for... Nope. Still weird. Mozart ate poop? Dying. Yep, even thinking about this shit is exhausting. Dying is easy. One second you're here, the next you're not. Getting to death is tricky. Never tried marijuana. I have nothing against it. But I just don't have any desire to try it. Mostly because I hate the smell I know you can get different strains. And edibles and stuff that won't smell. But I have no reason to go out of my way to get my hands on them. I'm good without it. I was the same way. Then my country, Canada, legalized and regulated it. Still refuse to smoke it for many of the same reasons you listed. Don't like the smell. And the thought of purposely inhaling smoke in my lungs freaks me out. I have edibles once in a while. They just kinda make me sleepy and slow my mind down a bit. Some edibles have a slight taste of what weed smells like and I can't stand it them. I've dialed into a couple of specific products that have no weedy taste and get me nice and stoned. I've found being stoned is way more preferable to being drunk. I've not drank since I found my preferred edible. Only do it once a month. Maybe less. 
For those in Canada, Aurora Drift Dark Chocolate is the best. Anal. Cock and ball torture, testicular torsion, sounding, and pedophilia. One of these things is not like the others. Skydiving. I get people's want to do it after the second time for the adrenaline rush and that. But for the life of me, I do not understand what compels someone to be you know what. Today I want to jump out of a plane and rely on cloth to bring me down safely. I have no issue with heights or flying. But that just boggles me. Cottage cheese. Like duck no. Gambling. I don't believe in it. At all. I have never bought a lottery ticket, nor have I been in a casino, and I never will. I'll bet you $5 you'll slip up one day. As a woman, a lot of sex acts that have been normalized by porn. I feel at this rate I have to have a list of dons to establish with men rather than the fun sexy list of dos. Horse come. Your loss. I'm almost full centaur now. Surstroming. I do however enjoy watching YouTube videos of people eating, and uneating, it. Ducking a coconut. Bungee jump. Duck that. I'm not a yo-yo. Yo. Watching got. Getting pregnant. Doing drugs like heroin or LSD or shrooms. Any type of extreme sports. Alcohol and cigarettes I just think they're a waste of money and I will never try it. Sending nudes, even to my fiancé, I trust him infinitely but I don't trust that I couldn't get hacked somehow and have my images stolen, especially if they automatically get stored in the cloud. I know that sounds paranoid af but honestly I am definitely super paranoid about putting anything incriminating out on the internet or even through text. Thanks for watching, be sure to like and subscribe for more interviews.